Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the concept of resource hierarchy within GCP. So uh, this is kind of a graphic of what uh, a hierarchy could look like, and there's a lot of components uh, that go into it. We did cover this a little bit earlier uh, in one slide about folders, where we talked about folders, projects, and resources. Uh, but there's a lot of moving parts here, and on the exam, they're definitely gonna ask you about resource hierarchies. So let's make sure we know this, okay? First thing is a resource is a service level, uh, service level resources that are used to process your workloads. Could be BigQuery, Compute Engine, whatever uh, that is a service you wanna launch. Then you have resource management, how you should configure and grant access to cloud resources from your team, set up and or, uh, or team set up and organization of your account level resources. You have domains, primary identity of your organization, define which users should be associated with your org, you universally administer policy for your users and devices linked to either a Google Workspace or cloud identity account. A Google Workspace or cloud identity account can only have one org, just so you know. Uh, then you have orgs or organizations. These are the root nodes of your Google Cloud hierarchy of resources. You can define settings, permissions, policies for all projects, folders, resources, cloud billing account is its parent. Organization is associated with exactly one domain. Using an organization, you can essentially manage your Google Cloud resources and users access with proactive and reactive management. Uh, then you have folders. This is a logical grouping of projects and other uh, or other folders. Folders can be used to uh, group resources that share common IAM policies. You got projects, so logical grouping of service level resources. Projects can represent teams, environments, organizational units, business departments, and this is basically where uh, resource hierarchy is very detailed in its variants. Basis of enabling services, APIs, and IAM permissions. A service level resource, uh, resource can only belong to a single project. You got labels, so categorize and filter your uh, resources with key value pairs. If you used AWS or Azure, they call these tags, okay? But here at GCP, they call them labels. Great for cost tracking at a granular level. Uh, there are three suggested hierarchy architecturals you can use, environment oriented, function oriented, and granular access oriented. They're not gonna ask you what kind of uh, architecture it is, but they're going to talk about these, um, like saying like which would be a good setup and they'll describe kind of what the, the setup would be. And that's why you wanna know these uh, three types. And we'll go over to the docs to look at that because that's where the most detail is for this, okay?